<laughs> Ciao, ma bella. So let's go see. This is an Italian vineyard house. So we can see we have this little area here where you can have your morning cappuccino. You look out, see your neighbors. Oh, hello, hello. <laughs> Uh, and then you go down here. This is where they would just hang out. They would have a wonderful time here. They usually have bigger families. Uh, a lot of the families during these times were from the Catholic faith and they believed that large families were wonderful. <gasps> How did I put pillows on the bed? Well, I'll have to show you. <laughs> Um, and you could use your lodestone as well to make like little planters. I just love them for the planters. And of course, you could put other uh, leaves there. We have these new leaves from 1.17 now, so I'd make it look really beautiful. And yeah, you have your doors going out and just enjoy life. Now, the tiles on the ceiling would be more of a terracotta, so it'd be more of like kind of like the acacia tone. So if you wanted to use the acacia stairs, that would be more authentic. All right, so let's get started. The pillars are going to be six blocks high. I'm using the white terracotta. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to put a spacing of three and then we'll do six more pillars. Okay, so you have your space of three and then six blocks to equal one pillar. Now we're going to do uh, five pillars on each side. So we got one, two, three, four, and then one more will be, okay, so we have our five pillars here. And then we're going to go in the opposite direction. So we're turning 90 degrees, we're going up again. Okay, we're doing one, two, three, go up nine, or six blocks, sorry. The terracotta is something you would often see, very prolific material you would find in Italy. So therefore you would see a lot of the houses with like terracotta flooring tiles in it. So very traditional. All right, and then we're going to go in the opposite direction. So what terracotta is, is a naturally uh, occurring um, clay. Yeah, so we have this beautiful clay with the nice red tones. The reason why it's so red is there's a lot of iron deposits, deposits in it. So it makes, it gives it that beautiful orangey tone. Kind of like in Canada, we have a place in Canada called Prince Edward Island where a lot of the sand is red and that's because they have a lot of iron in this soil content. All right, so I'm kind of getting some of the feelings from, you know, Parthenon here. But uh, yeah, so we have five pillars on each side. There's six blocks high with three blocks of space between them. Now you can come up with any uh, design you want. So let me give you some ideas of some of the designs that I have done. So here I have kind of like a square pattern. I even put in some of the uh, light sea lanterns there. Uh, this one is like just a grid pattern. Okay, and I also use some of the light gray. Now this is the one that I actually get was the red terracotta, glazed terracotta. So you could use that in combination with another terracotta. It really is up to you. Okay, so let's do it. Let's see what we can accomplish here. So I'm going to just go around the perimeter. So remember the perimeter is the outside of your shape. So I'm just going with my perimeter with the lodestone. Anybody ever make a lodestone compass before? No? Me either. And we're going to be going in a grid pattern after this. So we'll go from here and each of our posts will connect together. Okay, you can do any pattern you want. Don't feel like you have to do my little grid pattern. You can do any pattern you want. So just make sure that you Stay good with your time management, so don't spend the entire class trying to, to make a floor. That probably wouldn't uh, be the best use of your time. 
So I think actually I'm not going to do like the full grid. I'm just going to do like half grid. <laughs> Yikes, my post is floating. Sir Isaac Newton is having a fit. <laughs> okay, so then I'll probably just remove this and then do like a even a little pattern in here. So maybe I'll do like the gray around. Oop. And then I might do like, I don't know, sea lanterns or something in the middle or the red. Ooh, look at that. That could be fun. So yeah, just come up with whatever makes you happy experiment. It should be fun to see what everyone accomplishes here. All right, and then we'll remove the middle here. Oh, we'll like this little. And then we'll go around here and do the same thing. Okay, so once you're done the floor, we're actually going to put the pillars together. We're going to bridge them together. Uh, that's called a header. Now the header is extremely important in architecture or in even construction because the header is usually a triple laminated. So that means that they take two pieces or three pieces, sorry, of wood and they glue it together and then they nail it together and then they place it on its side so that it has more strength. So that's what we're going to do. We're gonna create these headers uh, across the top part of our theme. And then we can build our next story on it, yay. Now, if you wanted to continue to add more detail to this lower layer, you could actually put glass along the insides and enclose it. So if you're more interested in having a closed area, you could do that too. But remember, we gotta keep on track with our builds, we can't uh, get too far behind. So don't add too many details that you lose the big picture of the entire build. Okay, all right, I got one more to do and then I'm ready to start my headers. So one more round here, little ring around the rosy. <laughs> okay, and then I will go here. All right, so let's see what it looks like. I don't know, do I like it? I don't know, <laughs> just looks weird. Anyways, there you go, there's a pattern, it's in. Then you're going to just take your terracotta and go between each of the pillars on the inside. Oh, I guess that pillar was <laughs> too short. Um, yeah, I wasn't paying attention. We got one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, so we have a problem. These ones are too tall. All right, so see your problem, fix your problem. And that was the problem. I started on a pillar that was high. Okay, so now we got it. We'll go inside on the top block and go all the way around. So Italy is a country that's very diverse, ex extremely ancient parts of the world. So they have a ton of history. All right, so this is the next one you're going to do uh, is the sandstone wall. So we'll just go along. Sometimes if you try to go fast, you have these little protrusions coming out, but meh, go back and fix them. <laughs> Actually, I'll just go back and fix them when I uh, am doing my roofing above it. So I'll just zip all along. <laughs> yeah, so it has a really diverse culture in that uh, part of it, like as I showed you, like in Sardinia, they are more of a fishing community. And then inland, they are obviously not in the fishing industry. They also have a, about a third of their country covered by mountains in the north. So if you go to the Olympics, you'll you'll be surprised to see that they're actually quite proficient in downhill skiing. 
you wouldn't think this warm country would do well with skiing, but they actually have quite a few mountains up in the north covered in snow. Uh, and then you have the, uh, you know, the ancient ruins in Rome, which is a very ancient city. Um, the Roman Empire was quite a strong empire. Great, so you can see that I took my spruce stairs and went all the way around. Now I'm going to put a floor because I need a floor in there for my, my next uh, layer. So you can choose any floor you want. I like the acacia because it just kind of has this rich tone. So I'll put that in here inside the uh, headers. So go to your headers and just add another layer. And put your floor in. You can do any flooring you want. You don't have to use the acacia, especially if it's a uh, tone that you don't really like. Yeah. So if you like pizza, you can thank the Italians. They were the ones that came up with the idea of pizza and then it just started to spread all over the world. I love pizza. Now, if you go to, to uh, Italy and have pizza, it'll probably taste quite a bit different. I've actually had a few pizzas there. Um, I didn't realize how much sugar we put in our food until I went to Italy and had their pizza and it was very um, tomato tasting. It didn't, it had a very distinct tomato paste taste to it and not a lot of like sugary goodness that we're so used to. So I didn't realize how much we loaded our food with sugars. Okay, and then I added a uh, inner wall here. It's kind of my little pony wall. And then I'm going to go in the corners. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I'll bridge to the next corner. And then once you hit that next corner, you can do six blocks again. Okay, and then you'll bridge to your next corner. So basically we're making the wall here. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Then I'll bridge over to the next one. Now you might want to remove some of the blocks. So just kind of figure out where you want to go. Do you really want to bridge to this corner and just make a square house? So I'll show you what I'm talking about. So this would be, whoop, this would be your house. So you just have the square house. However, in the house that I showed you, there was an area, an area where they ate. So you can decide like where you want to put that. So if you count eight blocks over and then put your uh, inner post there, this could be your little eating area, okay? Or if you want to go from the other corner and then count eight blocks again and then put another post, go up and connect it. So then we would probably just take those two posts that you just put in and go towards the middle of your build. You see how I just kind of took out this corner. So if you wanted it to, to be open, you could just remove those posts there. Okay, and then just keep this all open there. You'd have to add another post down here to act like your little wall. Okay, so there you go. This is kind of the shape of my build. It's like a L shape. <laughs> so you can come up with how thick you want the walls, how many windows you want in your building. So I might want to add, you know, a couple more uh, layers to the post on the insides here just to kind of make my walls a little thicker. And here as well. Okay. So these uh, Italian vineyard homes would probably house your great, 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 great grandfathers. It's not uncommon to have, you know, nine, 10 generations that were born in that house. So it's uh, definitely a legacy that you leave to your next generation. You teach them the trade and then, yeah, they enjoy it. Okay, and then you can come up with like how many uh, windows you want, how thick they're going to be. So these are all choices that you can make for your build. I'm not going to kind of dictate what you can do with it because I want you to have a lot of freedom in it, okay? Okay. So let's put some windows in it. You can use any material you want for the windows. 
So I would probably use these door or windows here. These are the dark or the black stained glass. Now you could use the tinted as well. That's kind of a nice detail. Okay, so it's really up to you what you would want to do with it. So here's all your windows. And then after you've done your windows, um, you're going to do the same technique that we used for the outside of the build. You'll put your sandstone wall and then you will uh, put the spruce stairs all the way around. Oop. <laughs> windows are coming in. All right, so here's where you want your door opening and you, you can do any size uh, door. So if you wanted like just two doors, then go for it. If you only want like one door, then that's really up to you too. Okay, so decide, you know, how many doors you have space for. And then, uh, then that should be good. So let me see, I got two doors. I might as well just use the one with the 64. Get rid of that one. Take enough space I don't need. So then I have my acacia doors. Whoa. <laughs> and you can put them in there. And then take your stone or your sandstone wall and you got it. You just go around the entire perimeter again of your build. And there's some details that you could add. Like for instance, I have those granite stairs and I can show you what you can do with those. So you, yeah, feel free to just continue to experiment with different textures and, and uh, yeah. All right, so now I have my stairs and I'll just go around the entire perimeter. You get the feel here. Oh, <laughs> too much click happy there. Yeah, stairs are a little tricky. So you really need to have, to make it go a little faster. It's more helpful to have a little layer here so that you can have a shelf to set it up on. I'm almost done. <laughs> okay, so I am going to put another layer on, but I kind of like the idea of a barrier block. Now, if you want the barrier block, remember it's slash give at S. Uh, space barrier, and that's it. So barrier is B-A-R-R-I-E-R. -E um, so I like this for the idea of having that little shelf, but then you can turn it off and you don't even see it. So that's the nice thing. Then you can have this beautiful wooden roof showing through, okay? So yeah, just keep doing that, going all the way around. And then you can add more details to your build and you probably, we won't probably have time uh, to show a lot of the details, but I can just kind of show you a little bit of a, a mock-up of how to do that. Oh, and speaking of do that, let me show you how I did the couch as well. You can see that in my inventory, there's some banners there. So that's how I did it. It's with the banners and the stairs, really easy. Oh, keep going. Okay, so you get the idea that your roof just uh, becomes smaller and smaller. And then you finish. Okay, so that's my roof. I'll probably just uh, finish it off with, I don't know, let's just throw some blocks in there. So for the sake of time, but if you wanted, you can continue just to keep going uh, back and forth and finishing your roof. But I'm just making mine. Little at the top. Okay. All right. So, what can we do with the? Voila. <laughs> yeah. So, what can we do with the granite stairs? So, I like them because, like, Italy is such a extremely hot country. So, you could have them like this. You could add like a little veil above it. So, it kind of makes the the windows look more fancy. It's just a, another way of adding it. So how do you get them to turn like that? Uh, you got to turn your body. Oh, and that didn't go so well. So you got to turn your shoulder in, put it, look at the top of the block, 
Ooh, come on, come on. Not turning enough, there we go. Uh, and it should give you that. If you don't want it so wide, you could actually do it uh, like, you know, round the window a bit like that and then have it more like taking the side of the window like that. Okay, so it's, it's up to you. Do you like that look or do you like it a little wider? Uh, if you did it a little wider, you could use like some of the vines to obscure some of it uh, and just make it look more beautiful. Now, remember we have more leaves uh, to choose from, like you have the azalea leaves, so we could put those in now, loving them, because they have uh, some of the flowers on it. And then you also have these flowered ones, so you could put the, you know, a few of them in here, just with a, some flowers going somewhere. Okay, so, that's up to you how you want to decorate the side of it um, and around it as well. Okay, so let's show you how I did the couch with the, with the things. So you just remove uh, two blocks or one block, sorry, and you look down and put the banners in so that the banners will like stand up like that. Uh, and then you just look down again. Uh, sorry, you don't look down, you look back, come on. There you go. Yeah, so you just kind of have to go at a little bit of an angle and then you can put your stairs there. Okay, you can also turn this, them again. So turn your body and there you go. You got a, a couch with pillows on it, throw pillows. <laughs> you could even try like a banner with some material at the top. All right, and then the last thing is if you want stairs, oh, those door placements were terrible. So you gotta look into the corner and there you go. Now you can open your door. So the stairs, you could put them like in here, this area here. So you just, uh, you know, add whatever stair you want. So you could do <laughs> these stairs, whatever. You could also use your, um, your uh, barrier blocks as well to kind of help you build on the next layer. <laughs> Okay, so it's kind of like a little cheating way, not really a cheating way, but using your resources properly and efficiently. And then you just put your next stair there and then you go to the ground. Okay, you could put like a little rail system on it if you wanted just to keep all uh, your peeps safe. It's really up to you. Okay, so there you go. And you can decorate this area too if you wanted to, you know, put some lodestone there put your azaleas, you got, it. you understand what's going on here. <laughs> okay, so enjoy it. I would love to see, you know, the finished product of what you've accomplished. Just have fun with it. I, I really want to see, you know, what your interpretation of an Italian um, vineyard house would be. How fun, right? Maybe we're going to do two planters there. <laughs> All right, ciao, my bellas. I'll see you next time. So thanks so much. And if you want to share, I would love to see it. And we'll see you again next time. Bye, everyone.